Hey everybody, it is Jay, and in this uh, weekly uh, episode, I'm going to share with you seven books that I keep around me all the time. These are books that I go to repeatedly, and uh, I'm going to share them with you today. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my number one favorite book of all time. All right, let's get into it. Books. Do you like books? I like books. Books uh, have uh, taught me a lot of things. And then when I combine books with working with coaches, uh, that's where things really, really started to, to uh, move. All right. So what do I keep with me all the time? All right, first book, Steal Like an Artist. Steal Like an Artist. For the longest time, I thought in order to be creative, I needed um, to like invent something. And this book really says, dive in, look at the best parts of everything, and take the little bits here and there and there, and then make it your own. And that's what uh, being creative means. So Steal Like an Artist. Fantastic. What a breakthrough book. And I keep going back to it because I want to be reminded of it. All right. Bonus book. This book here, The Elements of Style. When it comes to a question of punctuation or grammar, this is the little book I carry around uh, that I can look things up and make sure um, my writing is where I want it to be. Okay. The War of Art. This book is all about being a professional. It is a masterpiece. And he writes this whole section about your muse and connecting with that, you know, kind of that energy. And, uh, uh, but the bit on professionalism, showing up every day, doing the work, uh, even when you're not inspired. Powerful book, The War of Art. Okay. This book here, The Tao Te Ching. Been carrying this around for probably 20 years. One of my favorite passages um, from number 15 is, uh, do you have the patience to wait till your mud settles and the water is clear? Can you remain unmoving till the right action arises by itself? So this whole theme of creating space in your life, putting all projects off, allowing things to sort of um, be a little more organic. Try not to force things as much. That's such a great passage. Such a great book. Okay, this book. This is a book I wrote. It's called What's Next? And it's about how to do online work you love from anywhere in the world. Each I picked just a bunch of great quotes that are in here and uh, topics about um, the creative process and really the mindset that you need if you're going to be somebody who works off of his laptop. Um, traveling the world. My former teacher, Stuart Wilde, wrote this book called Affirmations. Um, this really book, this book is really about your words as law. Uh, in fact, chapter six is called Your Word as Law. And uh, amazing man. He was my teacher for two years, and I uh, got so much out of him. That's <laughs> that's Stuart. Uh, he passed away, I think, about seven or eight years ago. Um, Fantastic book. My other book was a book I wrote when I moved to Thailand, Radical Freedom, 44 Steps to Ignite Transformation and Bring Your Exuberance, Magic, and Gifts to the World. These are available on Amazon. And I wrote this when I went to Thailand. And uh, each chapter has another quote. So I like to reference quotes a lot. I find them powerful. Um, and this also lets me kind of look back and see where I was you know, five years ago. Uh, compared to where I am now. So I keep that with me. Favorite book. I reference this a lot. This is the one I said would be um, the one. Rumi. Okay. So it's a little, the pocket Rumi reader. The pocket Rumi reader. And this book just um, makes me feel good. I can just open it to any chapter and it makes me feel good. But I'm going to share with you one of my favorite um, poems. I guess you'd call these poems. It's called To Clutch at Madness. To Clutch at Madness. What's that about? Conventional opinion, say that again. <clears throat> Conventional opinion is the ruin of our souls. Something borrowed, which we mistake as our own. Ignorance is better than this. 
clutch at madness instead. Always run from what seems to benefit yourself. Sip the poison and spill the water of life. Revile those who flatter you. Lend both interest and principle to the poor. Let security go and be at home amid dangers. Leave your good name behind and accept disgrace. I have lived with cautious thinking. Now I'll make myself mad. I just love that. Just think that's so awesome. Okay, boom. That's it. That's all, those are all the books. You got not seven, but eight books. And uh, gosh, uh, since you're at home, probably at home, sheltering at home, uh, if any of those books kind of connect with you, you can get them all on Amazon and, uh, and, and, and jump in. So uh, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, I do this once a week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.